Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer for Saturday, the um, 4th of December now we're at. And today we give grateful thanks to God for John of Damascus, who was a monk and a teacher of the faith uh, in the first half of the 8th century, the early 700s, and Nicholas Ferrer, uh, who founded a, a community called the Little Gidding Community in the first part of the 17th century, so early 600s. Uh, devoted people seeking the Lord in different ways um, and we give grateful thanks to, for them today. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his house of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman waits for the morning. More than the watchman waits for the morning. I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then Shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and those who breathe out violence I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have an Old Testament reading, which is Isaiah 44, verses 24 to 45, 13. So it's a little bit longer tonight, but I still encourage you to read that. And we are going to complete the book of Revelation. So we're starting at chapter 22, beginning at verse 6. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. For the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. See, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, 
I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. But he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades, the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the evildoers still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. See, I am coming soon. My reward is with me to repay according to everyone's work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they will have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and fornicators and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. It is I, Jesus, who sent my angel to you with this testimony for the churches. I am the root and descendant of David, the bright morning star. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let everyone who hears say, Come. And let everyone who is thirsty, Come. Let anyone who wishes to take the water of life as a gift. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this book. If anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away that person's share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. The one who testifies to these things says, surely I'm coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with all the saints. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. With all authority, gentle in intimacy, Christ our identity. Christ be with me. Christ within me. Christ behind me. Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. We pray for the United Nations that it may be an effective instrument of peace in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given courage and find a hope, a welcome and a future. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. Remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen. So be it, O Lord. That faith, hope and love will abound and our lives will be known by joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Amen. So be it, O Lord. Then this district will bring me renown, joy, praise and honour before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Amen. So be it, O Lord. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succour us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Ghost be, be honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So as we come to the end of this week of evening prayers, we look forward to Sunday tomorrow. Remember that Sunday is not just about the cross, it's about resurrection. And resurrection means that Jesus is able to resurrect any situation. There's no single thing that we can struggle with that Christ cannot touch with that same power that raised him from the dead for he is God and what's more the power that raised Jesus from the dead is actually in us so we pray that the Lord will help us to know how to access that and to use his love and power under his authority in the situations that we face starting with ourselves so may the Lord bless you in praying for yourself not crying out to God because he's, we like him to help but we don't think he can. But seeking God with confidence, knowing that he's listening and he is with us. So may the Lord when he comes find us watching and waiting. Amen. And may the peace of Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to a place of holy prayer. In the name of Jesus, our Saviour, and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.